and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For a new deck, we're going to try some Teemo's Fortunes. This is a deck where we're playing Teemo with Misfortune, putting those two together. Basically, the thought is here <clears throat> is that you want to be pretty aggressive with Misfortune. This is, you know, an aggressive champion doing one damage to them each time that you attack. And so you want that, that one damage to matter and you want to, to um, you know, try to get ahead and uh, keep that damage rolling. And so what, what we're going to do is we're going to be pairing that with our one drop Teemo, where, you know, Teemo decks <clears throat> also don't mind getting ahead. And, you know, you have like your 1-1 one, one elusive, so like the elusives are hard to block, so that could, could give you an attacker with misfortune. But then it also helps the puff caps really matter, because poison puff caps can do a little bit of damage to the opponent, but if you're not... You know, like the more aggressive your deck is, the better that is, because then the more that that um, extra damage can matter. So we're hoping, sorry, so we're hoping um, that the, like maybe we can be aggressive, and even if our opponent stabilizes, that the extra damage from Puff Caps can finish the game out. Got one Sumpworks map to be able to grant something elusive, you know, maybe like the Kempunk Pickpocket or maybe a Misfortune itself. Something like that to help get in some extra damage. Um, no, I don't really... No, I'm not playing any suit up or pocket aces for protection. I just don't really like either of those cards. <clears throat> suit up is is okay with Teemo. I just don't really love either of those cards. Um, I got Chump Wumps to be able to get extra Mushroom Clouds. I was thinking like what I wanted to get extra Mushroom Clouds either... Um, or extra Puff Caps with them. Either Chump Wump or Puff Cap Peddler. Going with Chump Wump, um, that, you know, we'll have that and Island Navigator for like our extra um, four drops for Misfortune. And we have a couple of Plunder cards at the top end. Remember, if they draw a Puff Cap, that triggers Plunder. So they could draw a Puff Cap and then we trigger Plunder and then get to play Citrus Courier or Riptide Rex um, and be able to trigger Plunder that way. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully that kind of stuff could happen. And then we got Burn Spells, we got Mystic Shot, we got Make It Rain, we got Get Excited. Um, so, you know, like we got some burn spells to help finish the deal as well. So let's give this a try. I, you know, this is just kind of like more of a theory deck. I'm not as confident in this one. Out, out of the four decks today, this is probably the, the deck I'm the least confident in working. But I want to see how it does. Uh, the, the, the Noxus deck is also an aggressive deck, but they go bigger. And so that's a, probably a bad sign for us. Um... Like, dealing with 6 fours has got to be pretty tough. Hey, Kai... Uh, Ka... Uh, hmm. How would I say that name? Kahaya? Kahaya Baru. Welcome, Kahaya Baru. Pupcap's doing work. I'm just going to use the Mega Rain. Mega Rain is awkward against uh, against Crimson Disciple. It's like before they would have one of those. No pray, no pay. Just gonna use that Mega Rain. I have the best job. And I will trade Misfortune for Draven. I think that's a good trade. Love ya. We got exactly four mana for Thermogenic Beam if they have the 6-4. Oh, a 2-3. A 2-3. Hmm. Letting guts Means they... Glory. Ugh. Tear of the Tides no is the worst one to hit. Wiser. Means there's a good chance they have another 2-3. The stink of blood and sweat. Ooh. Say your farewells. Yeah, Tear of the Tides was the worst card to hit. Um. Please. 
I don't know. I don't know about this. I want to just try to hit him with this Teemo. I hope this works. And so that was that was the reason why I didn't really want to play Kempunk Pickpocket is because I was worried about Bacillus Grider and wanted to be able to kill Bacillus Grider. If I do play Pickpocket, you know I could challenge Bacillus Grider with the Jaw Hunters, but they wouldn't necessarily have to just play. Um, you know, like they may not just play Bacillus Grider pre-combat. Okay, decimate. I hope they can't do 19 damage to me. Good. Drew, drew some puff caps. Now we can kill, or now we can go Riptide Rex. Uh, I guess I could just go double Mystic Shot to kill him. Oh, that's probably safer, isn't it? Man, it's just so, it's so enticing to play Riptide Rex. I just want to do it. I, yeah, I just want to do it. <clears throat> Basically, also, like, if you look at, like, the two things they have, I just didn't think, wouldn't it really be possible to not do damage to them with Riptide Rex, right? Yeah, and that transfusion actually just killed them. Well, that was a good showing. And they had a pretty decent hand. They didn't have a two drop, right? Did they? I know they had one drop, and they had Draven. It was a per like they didn't have a perfect hand. My hand was was really good with turn one Teemo. It's a good looking hand. I like to draw, make it rain again. Yeah, last time we had make it rain. Which helped out. This time, a mystic shot, which I guess... Just... Come on, make it rain. Start. The party has arrived. We can make our own make it rain. With the misfortune maker rain. Coming right up. Don't get ahead of yourself. Cool. I will right, we'll take that. Now, I think I'm still going to go Island Navigator to get two attacks in for Misfortune. Every wave is a path. Cool. Oh, I can't wait. Bless his motion. That would do two, this would do two damage to me. If they block with Crimson Disciple. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. Ugh. Never know what hit him. More 
It's Sunday fun day, that is right. You think Mon you think Monday is fun day? Well, why can't you have both? Why can't you have Sunday fun day and follow it up with Monday fun day? Why not? Have fun. Have some fun. I'll try anyone one. Hmm. damage. Please just attack like that. That's good. Good attack. Yes. Okay, good. Make it worth my while. I was gonna do a lot of damage with these crimsons. Son of a I am really glad they didn't attack with anything else. Perfect. Alright, that's attack number three for misfortune. These two transfusions hurt so bad. I have my orders. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. No one's the wiser. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Let them block with. Like, do I even attack here and let them block? With Crimson Disciple? If I let them block, that does two damage to me. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't actually attack there and let them block. That's Got some leveled up. Leveled up champions. Hey, Daniel. So, uh, basically, um, because I'm not attacking there, I probably should not have used that, that thermogenic beam how I did. I probably should just, I should have cast another mushroom cloud. It would have gave them another 10 puff caps, so they'd have 38 instead of 28, and then use one to kill a legion saboteur, um, so that they can only deal one damage with saboteur. So that was, that was a mistake with that thermogenic beam, because I, I pivoted and... Oh, I can't wait. Huh. They just drew zero puff caps. Everything's in place. Zero. 
I love a taste of the action. Reel him in. Candle scouter, never afraid. Three down to four. Puff caps, there we go. All right, two and O, oh, beating Noxus twice. Looking good, Supreme Fury. Hey, thanks for that resub, Supreme Fury. Bringing some high boats in the chat. Thanks, Supreme Fury. GG's. We had another really, really good hand. You know, I'll take that hand every time of Teemo, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam, Misfortune. And then we also got Misfortunate. Eh, just, fortu just regular Fortunate. I just wanted to use the word Miss. Um, we got Fortunate with the with misfortunes make it rain earlier also all right beating that deck three out of three times is gonna be difficult I keep this this is gonna be tough winning three out of three same opponent Ooh, gotta make it rain basically I kept the two misfortunes because I thought that like we wouldn't do anything on turn two and then we would have um, turn three, we would play Misfortune and then be able to use the Misfortune Champion spell as a Mega Rain. But now we just gotta make it rain. So I want another one health I'll thing. Ugh, not a Crimson Disciple. Not a Crimson Disciple was what I was going to say. The one card I did not want was Crimson Disciple. Is that all? Damn it! Delicious. The one card we did not want right there. But yep. Yeah, I agree. It, it was still worth using. Um, trade Misfortune for Iron Ballista? I mean, if they go straight to it... No. 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 That's right. Yeah, draw those puff caps. Right oh. Big Basil Scrider. Ugh. That's a that's That's their great curve, right? Legion Saboteur into Crimson Disciple into Iron Ballista into Basil Scrider that hits. That's their curve. And that's a tough curve to beat, that's why it's the best deck. I guess this is my best Your chance. No. You've made your path. Ocean Mara. My right. <laughs> Hey, Candice. Happy Sunday. Every wave is a path. Cool. Daring Poro. <laughs> this is our way. So they can do another two damage to me by blocking with the Crimson Disciple. I don't think I. Yeah, I don't think I trade damage. 
this. I think we need the four health. Just kind of see what happens. Um, My kind of party. Mm. Ooh, do not doubt. Can't spoil the surprise. Okay, cool. I'll take that. The lead you can kill the Legion Grenadier. No, I scout attacked with the Elusive Poro. I did. We we did the scout attack with the Elusive Poro and the Island Navigator. We did both, and they didn't block either one. And then I did regular attack with Daring Poro and Teemo. So no, we we did not miss the scout attack. We attacked twice last turn. Um, no. Well, if they have, if they have the direct damage, I lose. If they don't, we win. You know, that's that's what it is. This misfortune is going to kill them if they don't have direct damage. If they do, obviously we lose. They're doing it on the wrong target. They should be targeting the Grenadier so that... Because, like, right now, I could have removal for the Draven. I don't, I don't know. You know, I could have, like, a gotcha, you know, or something like that. There'd be removal for the Draven or get ex or get excited. Like, they, they really should be targeting the Grenadier. You suck. Still, our decks look really good. We've gone 2-1 and one against Noxus. And, uh, they just had... You know, they had everything there. They had Somebody's the, um, they had that awesome curve, and even with that awesome curve, they had to have, like, two tricks. Like, they had to have Transfusion and Noxion Fervor. Um, you know, they had the perfect one, two, three, four curve. Um, and then force them to have both of those. Like, if they don't have the Transfusion, I'm at eight. They didn't, didn't have that transfusion. But yeah, GG's. Good showing for the deck. No, I couldn't I couldn't let them block with the three one when I'm at two. I couldn't attack with my four three. I don't want to see Avarosen Sentry, the 2 1. I do not want them to have the 2 1. Hey, Agent Iowa. Howdy. Happy Sunday. No 2 1. Ah, uh, Aristocrat. Alright, well, we're going to play it a little slower then it doesn't really make sense to just put a T2 Butcher out there against Aristocrat. So I want this... I want this Kempunk Pickpocket to hit them. What you looking for? But actually having it hit them... Like, having that, having it hit them is easier said than done. Okay. 
If Thermogenic Beam was fast speed, I definitely would have played it right then. All right, Make It Rain's going to clean this up. So I'm not going to let... Exactly, I'm not going to let just one Vile Feast kill my pickpocket. And now we'll have 3-3 Butcher. Yeah, I would have rather them used Withering Whale than the second Vile Feast. So I got five mana to kill Braum with a Thermogenic Beam, so I could still play the Mushroom Cloud last turn because we still have enough to kill a Braum. So the problem, so like they pass, I'm going to pass back to me also. I don't want to play something and then they play Braum. I'll just have them waste their eight mana. Just go back to us. Okay, I can go navigator. Uh, if I go navigator, then they go. No, I guess we just attack. Guess so we don't want to play in a ruination. No, I'm not Kizen. Whale. That's probably a good sign that they're not going to... Ruination? Question mark? Man, I want to play this Island Navigator, but it's probably not start to smart to play it. I'll play the pickpocket. Let's do that. about ruination and got avalanched. A storm approaches. Got avalanche. Tide Rex can get on in there. Killing the Anivia egg and, and you know, just want to kill both of them. Just attack for another nine. I was gonna be using, you know, I was gonna use hired gun on the Anivia egg. That was my plan with these hired, you know, that's that's what I was saving the hired gun for was have that, but um, you know. turn on Riptide Rex. Ooh, be a spicy one. Then kindle a new. Then kindle a new. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Come, 
to the light. Excuse you! Strike them down. Oh, their Nivea's gonna come back. It's a bad block. They're just gonna come back. So I guess I need to. So I need a Mystic Shot the Anivia? But I want to Mystic Shot them. It's just the smart the smart play is just to Mystic Shot this thing. Would have been better if they would have drawn a puff cap. Always forward. Would have been better if they would have drawn a puff cap. Okay, okay. Get that hit in. So I can either use Riptide Rex, try to do a lot of damage, or we can have like double hired gun. This is our time. Hmm. Three blockers, so double hired gun. I can challenge two, but they'd still have one to block the Rex. Yeah, I think we'll just go. I think we'll just go with this. Not ideal. What are you doing? Okay, you're targeting that thing. So they only they take one damage. Perfect. So yeah, they, they do take one damage. We have the island navigator. No, harsh winds. Ugh. Yeah, I guess they got that hard. I was saying, even if they have Grass the Undying on the Navigator, they still wouldn't gain enough life. All right, Puff Caps, help us out. No, I was too late. Ugh. Giga shots. Why would you say that? Why would you say harrowing incoming? Why would you give them a harrowing? And this is not get excited. This is gotcha. Ugh. Yeah, don't say harrowing incoming. Give them a harrowing. Yeah, we can survive the turn, and then we have we have two more draws at least for. Uh, Make it worth my while. Go to one. We can survive the turn. Go to one. And, um, yeah, hope for puff caps. Oh, 
Stop caps. One puff cap. They're gonna draw two. I'm not casting the Mystic Shock, so I don't want them to use a, a gain life spell in response. There we go. That is that is so risky drawing two. And so I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait. I was gonna let them draw their card and try to win with the puff cap. And if the puff cap didn't work, then you know, last last brick effort mystic shot. But I didn't want to like the worst thing to do is cast mystic shot, then they go grasp the undying or withering whale in response. With them being at one, I figured they would probably have to just fire off grasp or withering whale because they wouldn't want to die to one puff cap. And then once they fire that off, then I mystic shot. Yeah, they're yeah, so they have Withering Whale and Grass the Undying to heal. Hey, good job, Agent Iowa. Got the seven wins in the gauntlet. Good job. Yeah, they, the the glimpse is that's just not a smart play with the glimpse. That's not That's drawing too many cards. Oh no! Not Bromfiora. Bromfiora really good. Yeah, this deck's great. Bannerman Braum. We just played Ban Bannerman Braum. Anyway, how good this deck is. Yeah, they should not be they should not be risking the, the draw. Like that was That was ill advised. What you looking for? That was the bad card to see. Run them through. Uh -huh. You know, if it was Fiora, I would be able to have Mystic Shot also. Um, but it was not Fiora. I mean, I guess I could have just gone double Mystic Shot to kill this. And kept my 3-2 alive. Eh. I guess I could have done the double Mystic Shot. That's... I don't love that. Hey, Potato. By my honor, you must die. Must die? Alright, I think, I think they're going to be winning this. You have like potentially 10 damage upstairs. Want to turn into a burn deck. That's not the card I wanted to see. Thanks, Abdu. Thank you. Ah. Is on the job. That's even worse. So they're at 15. I have potentially like 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 11. Potentially.
This is definitely a bad matchup, though. Like, their cards line up really, really good against our cards, and just, like, their um, strategy really lines up well against our strategy. Now, this has been kind of silly, what, these cards that we've been drawing. It's made it look worse than what it is, but I don't think this is a good matchup. If only Fjord could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. <laughs> Yeah, Braum kind of makes everything bad. Could really use a... I don't know what, a scout? Or Tidrex? damage to everything a couple of times. What's up, Pockets? Thank you for the resub. Thanks for all the fun at Dex. You are welcome. You are very welcome. This will be quick. Yeah, stream every day. Let's see. Riptide Rex. No, we gotta do this. I really wish I had one more mana to play Riptide Rex as well, is why I went to combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter and strike! Draw a puff cap. They don't have any puff caps. Need them to draw a puff cap. My shield is yours. Um, that's kind of bad. Blood and guts, golden glory. I never will try to cause the event. Fortune. This has been a game where Get Excited has been worse than Gotcha. I'd rather have Gotcha. Oh, well, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, is this worth it? Discard Riptide Rex? How do I How do I win if I discard Riptide Rex? I 
I'm not worried. I'm not worried about Fiora killing four things and winning. You say I should have taken out Fiora. I don't. I'm not worried about that. I mean, this it's just been a three-two. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried. I'm at two life. That's what I'm worried about. This could be on any. You know, like honestly, this on the five-four is actually probably better than putting that on the Fiora right now. I don't think I can get rid of the Riptide Rex. Come on, kill those. No! We're not killing the 5 4. Swiftwing Lancer had to create that. That's bad. Um. Get bloody, get paid. quite bad for me. Yeah, I mean, I... Yeah, they got this now. What? No, they, they won. They had lethal. In play. I'm, I'm counting that as a loss. I mean, I, I lost. I think... The only thing I can explain with that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Colby. I'm counting that as a loss. We lost. Um, I think that was I think that was a viewer that was playing, you know, just playing my Bannerman Brom deck, and um, conceded to me for for using my deck. I think I think that's, yeah, I think that's 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 what I can explain. So yeah, that was a really nice really nice person to concede like that. But we're counting that as a loss in the in the record book. Um, Um, I don't know. So, yeah, that was really nice of them. But yeah, that, that Bannerman Braum deck is pretty awesome. That, that one felt very, very strong. Like, that could be a top metagame deck. It really did feel that good. So yeah, I really recommend that one. Um, but that was a pretty sweet game. That was, that was a good back and forth game. I do think that that's matched up well against us too, but... Our deck looked a lot stronger than I thought. I was I was a little worried about this one, but it looked good. Man, like we we beat Noxus two out of three times, and like the one game that they won, it was super close, and they had to have they had to have a lot. They had a perfect curve and then had to have a couple of spells to stay alive. Um and then even even that game, I thought that we were going to um I thought that we were going to uh lose that you know a lot earlier but even that game was was really close um you know if if my riptide rex could have killed that 5-4 you know if it would if we would have killed the 5-4 also uh maybe we could have stabilized who knows um that was so that was a pretty close game also um yeah this this deck was fun this was a, this was a good one i definitely give this a thumbs up this is you know you want to get your aggressiveness on get your misfortune at teemo uh, something a little different. It was it was good. I I uh, I enjoyed this one quite a bit. All right, so that's Timo's Fortune. Another good deck here for Rank Up Sunday. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments. This is another one. Give this one a try too. All all three of these decks have been very good so far today. Give this one a try also. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Timo's Fortune, and I'll see you for the next video.